Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, we want to begin this service in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Um, shall we be upstanding? We are going to enter into a short time of uh, prayer. God has been good to us. If we look at where we started from, from the beginning of the year, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, and today is the last day of the year. If you find yourself here, then you have every cause to give thanks to God. You have every reason to give thanks to God. Amen. He has indeed, he's, he's indeed been good and faithful to us. Yes. <laughs>
go to us. Tonight, I want you to open your lips and give him all the glory. He has been good to us. Listen, it's not everyone who has seen this day. It's not everyone. There are people, as we, as we are here, some are just struggling to even walk. But God has been good to us. It's not because we have done something unique. But it is just by his grace. grace. Just by his grace. grace. We are going to pray and commit today's gathering into God's hands. That he should have his way. 
there should be a manifestation of his glory. Yes. His glory. As he leads us into a new year, we are going to ask that his presence should be here with us. Yes. All of us, we are not going to leave this place the same. We came with expectations. So God would definitely meet us yes. at our point of expectation. Shall we lift up our voice in prayer? That God should take absolute control. His presence should fill this place. His presence should fill this place. And that we should leave this place as renewed beings. As renewed beings. In the name of Jesus, let that be your Lord. Let that be your Lord. Let your presence Let your presence be Let your presence Amen. We are here today to celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And we have come to praise Him and to give Him glory. We know that God has done so much for us from the past years into this year. He has been good to us, He has kept us, and He has protected us. And so, if we are here this evening, we want to come together as one people. And lift up the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So as we sing, I want you to join us with your heart. I want you to join us with your mouth. As we lift up the name of the living God. I know that we cannot dance and crisscross. But in your own 
area and in your own vicinity. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to see you shake yourself to the glory of the living yes. God. Amen. Amen. I don't want to see you just standing like God has not been good to you. Amen. Amen. I want you to show appreciation. I know that some of us will say that I am showing appreciation in my heart. But this evening we want to see you want your somebody standing by you to see that God has been good to you. Amen. Amen. You want to encourage somebody who is next to you that God has been faithful. If it hadn't been for his grace and mercies, we would not be alive. And so this evening we want to give him praise and we want to give him worship. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Behold he comes riding on the cloud shining like the sun at the trumpet's call lift your voice it's a year of to believe out of Zion's hill salvation behold behold he comes riding on the clouds shining like the sun at the trumpet's call lift your voice it's a year of to believe out of Zion's hill salvation Behold, behold, he comes Riding on the cloud Shining like the sun And the trumpets go Lift your voice It's a year of jubilee Out of Zion's sail. Somebody clap your hands Behold, behold, he comes Riding on the cloud Shining like the sun And the trumpets go Out of Zion still Let's sing it again Behold, behold he comes Riding on the clouds Shining like the sun As the trumpets go Lift your voice It's a year of jubilee Out of Zion still sounding Come on Behold, behold he comes Riding on the clouds Shining like the sun How the trumpets go Lift your voice It's a year of jubilee Out of Zion Till salvation comes. Okay, let's all sing this one We bring sacrifice Of praise Into the house Of the
Yahweh. Oh, hey, Yahweh. Hey, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Hey, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Hey, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yes, you need one good one, one minute. Oh, let me hear you. Yes, you need one good one, one minute. Yes, you need one Oh, yes, only one who was my family. 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 It was my, it was my, it was my, it was my. Wamila, 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 Wamila. Hallelujah. Shall we give a clap offering unto the Lord? Amen. Amen. I want to take this opportunity to welcome all of us one more time into the presence of the living God and also into this special service, our crossover service into the year 2021. Amen. I believe you have a reason for being here tonight. Let me see by hand somebody who has a reason. Hallelujah. We bless God that you have a reason. And as we go through the program, I want, I don't want, I want you to, to be focused on the reason why you are here. Amen. Because for some of us, we are here to celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Many people have left us. Some were more spiritual than you, trust me. Some were more tongue, I mean, the tongues they spoke were thicker than yours. But you are here today. Hallelujah. Because it is the pleasure of the Lord. God has taken pleasure in you to be here. Amen. To be fair, Bible says that and God told Elijah to rise up and eat. Hallelujah. Because we don't know what is ahead of us, but we need strength. We don't know what is ahead of us, but we need wisdom. We don't know what is ahead of us, but we need protection. And tonight, God is here. The spirit of the living God is here. The son is here to fortify us for 2021. Amen. We want to take this opportunity to invite our sister, Josephine Berima, to give us the Bible reading. And after that, our Dickness, um, our Dickness Anita will lead us in worship. Amen. Amen. Our Bible reading is taken from Psalm 124. And I'm reading from the NIV version. Verse 1. If the Lord had not been on our side, let Israel say. Verse 2. If the Lord had not been on our side, when people attacked us, they would have swallowed us alive. When their anger fled against us, the flood would have engulfed us. The torrent would have swept over us. Verse 5, the raging waters would have swept us away. Verse 6, praise be to the Lord who has not let us be torn by the, your feet. Verse 7, we have escaped like a bird from the foulest snare. The snare has broken and we have escaped. Verse 8, our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Amen. Tonight is all about Jesus. Are you here? 
So all the language you hear is all about Jesus. So if you sing and you don't understand, just know it's all about Jesus. Hallelujah. Shall we be on our feet? Sapi titi ku na soye da su ku ko wa. Sapi titi ku na soye da su ku ko wa na le adia wa ya ma ye. What the Lord has done is more than enough. Do you agree with me tonight? Yeah. So we're going to take it again. I'm going to take it again. I'm going to take it again.
this has been a year. <laughs> it has been a year. Even if you were not affected in any way, you have been affected because you are here. You are in the country. You are on, on this earth. So you hear all that is going on. So you have been affected. Tonight it's all about Jesus, like I mentioned. It's all about Jesus. I don't want to teach you how to worship him. Because I am going to worship him the way he has dealt with me. And I want you to worship him the way he dealt with you and your family. I'm reading from Psalm 115. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his act of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sounding of the trumpets. Praise him with the help and the learn. Praise him with the timber and dancing. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with a clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbal. Praise, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Do you have breath this morning? Yes. Do you have breath tonight? Yes. He says the instrument should praise him. So why are you standing there? Don't be a spectator. Don't be a spectator. Begin to worship him. Be a partaker of his worship. Begin to open your mouth and bless him. Hey, my
revelation should we give unto you tonight? Father, we want to thank you. In good times, we want to thank you. In bad times, we want to thank you. Ah, whether we have or we don't have, we want to thank you. For your word says that in all things we should give thanks unto you. That is what we have come to do. Casting crowns, oh God. Bowing hands is all we have come to do tonight. Receive your glory. 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 Ah! Oh, a wave offering unto the Lord. I didn't see a club offering, a wave offering unto the Lord. In the Old Testament, there's this interesting offering called the wave offering. Just give it unto the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. For this king of Zion, this Judas lion, has been your son. This Judas lion has been your shield and your fortress. This Judas lion has been the fortress around you and your family. He has not reheard any good thing from you. And for that reason, tonight, give him a wave offering one more time. Hallelujah! We bless the name of the living God. God richly bless you, our dickness and itakwate. Amen. In days or in times past, there's something called the Book of Remembrance. When this book is open, we, it is, the things, the act that God has done is read to the people. And they acknowledge the goodness, the kindness, the mercies, and all that God has done for them. Um, tonight we are in, 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 in the days of technology. Amen. So we don't have a book, but we have a video to show us. So that as we walk through the year, I just want you to reflect on it. It is not to see those who have grown fatter than you. Or have grown, grown slimmer than you. Amen. But it is to recap. It is to recall and to review all the things that God has done for us. If the audiovisual um, team is ready, we invite them to help us. Amen. Jesus, 
victory belongs to him. Yeah. We say who can stand up? We say nobody, nobody. We say nobody will yeah. Oh Lord, who can stand? We say nobody can. We say no one will. Messiah. So he's Lord and Messiah. 
The Lord has done some. Amen. Don't say that, bro. Amen. Um, we just want to, this is the time for us to give our testimonies. Um, we need, Bible says that, and they overcame, not by the blood alone, but also by their word, by the word of their testimony. We want to acknowledge everything that God has done for us. Um, we would invite uh, the Insian family, and as they come, if you have any testimony bubbling in your heart, uh, please see me, and I'll put down your name for, for that. Amen. And Insian and family, please. Let's welcome them with a the clap. Praise the Lord. If I say praise the Lord, I love to hear the response very, very well. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Indeed, the Lord has done so much for you and me. And we can't say so much. Just to read the Bible, glorify the name of the Lord. So pay attention as I read. I will read from the tree, Asante Chokron Krono. Anyom. Wahani edun siya. Me kenka ni gina ati eti ebi. Ose. Me do eurade se oti e menne. Ne me mkuto sere. Na wabre na suwa ase amame. Enti me ti asye yi. Me boni de yi. O wo o huma eche chire me. Na asama ado ahu hiya to me. Mi huno ahu jayi ene awira huo. Na eura di ni ena me bo se. Oh, eura di. Me srew. Jeme kira. Odon fo ene tine ni 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 eura di. Na ye nyan kupon e ye moburu hunu fo. Eura di fya e yye mfo. Mi ho joye. Na odje me unkwa. Me kira. San kwa uhu me mu. Na eura di ni u e diniye. Kase eura di ni mi e diniye. Was it Mikra? Hm. Mikra, son of Kohu Mimo, na Uradi, no Edin Ye. Now, why you Mikra, Efri Ogum, na Meni, Efri Nisium, Nemenai, Efri Afiasium, Menan to us a menante, Uradianim, at Yasifo Assassin. Majimedi, enti na meka se, medi e me ya mabo se, meka makuma tuyo mu se, eni pe ina e ya trofo, eti e ina na medi ba she e urade ane mu, mi ye a oya mi ina ho, mama enkwa ji e kuru ane so, na mabo e urade ding, mi de mabo a di e e be ma e urade, ne ma e ina enim. A radia hotel for a world yet. Nebo a ding nenim. Oh, a radi. May a wakua. May a wakua. Wafunaba. What sunny me homa? Una mebo a sida for dear. Na mabo a radi ding. Mid mabo a dear, a be me radi. Nema ina enim. I ready for you, Eddie Ho. Who? Jerusalem, the Finfini. Muni, a radia. Amen. Yamisho, Elder. Amen. I will bring my vow, I will fulfill my vow in the house of the Lord. 
Maybe you don't have a testimony, or maybe you don't want to walk here to give your testimony. But those wonderful things are here. The cash up is still there. Amen. Um, you can still be given to show your appreciation and your gratitude unto God. Amen. Um, we humbly invite Mrs. Atiofu to give us a song to thank the Lord for all that he's done for her and her family. Give it unto the Lord. Give it unto the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the house of God, there is liberty. I'm here to sing to glorify the name of the Lord and then to encourage somebody if you are here and you are afraid of the coronavirus or anything that is happening in your life. I want to encourage you that the Lord is by your side. Amen. <laughs> Esther also to minister then after her, Mrs. Ebionum would also come uh, with her testimony and that will end it. Amen.
it is all to the glory of God. So if, if you got into contact with it and you are alive today, all the glory unto God. God bless you all. Amen. All the glory indeed unto God. Amen. Is our choir ready? Is our choir ready? Yes. Let's welcome the choir as they bless us with a song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are here today by the grace of God. If not for the grace of God, we wouldn't be here today. So we want to sing about the goodness of God. Amen. Amen. Oh, no. 
for that grace, it should be resounding. Hallelujah. God richly bless you for the hand clap. And as loud as that hand clap is, we are also going to give a resounding offering unto God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This offering, when it hits the bow, it shouldn't make so much noise. Hallelujah. Because of the weight of it. It is our thanksgiving offering. It is the end of the year. We are coming before God to show him that God, we are grateful for everything that you have done for us. Amen. For everything that God has done for you. There are people, I mean, tonight, or tomorrow, or yesterday, there are people who went to the shrine, and at least with one goat or one sheep. And I go, I go, I go to the asker to buy goats a lot. Now one is about four hundred dollars. So if I have to present a goat to a god for probably protecting me, at least that is how much I am to offer to that god. But this god has been more than good to us. So tonight. Just look within. I mean, take a good paper, a good check. Hallelujah. I mean, look down, down, down. That is where all the goodies are. We are coming to offer unto God our thanksgiving offering. So that when we are done with that, we can have time for the word and also to pray. Amen. Are we ready to offer? Are we ready to offer? Yes. Hallelujah. Um, please take us through. Amen. Don't 
bless you. Um, we want to pray over the offering. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to bless you for the substance that you have enabled us to give back unto you. We pray in Jesus' name that you will bless it. We pray in Jesus' name that you will sanctify it. We pray in Jesus' name that there shall be increase in our lives for our obedience unto your word. In the name that is above every name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, I want you to sit well. I want you to find a very comfortable position and place yourself in that position because it is time for God to give us a word for the coming year. Amen. It is God for us to give us a revelation to carry us through. So prepare your heart, prepare your mind, prepare your will to receive from the Lord. Amen. I humbly invite our district pastor Pastor Ernest Ebujenki, let us welcome him with a clap of rain unto the Lord. Amen. I know it's not for me. I know it's not for me. The one who is it for deserves better. Our God deserves it better. Oh, can we give it to him? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord! I thought somebody was going to be on his feet and give it to the Lord. For all that the Lord has done, for all that our God has done, is that all that you can give unto him? Give it to the Lord, give it to the Lord. Our God is good. Our God is good. Our God is good. Our God is good. We give it to you, Jesus. You are awesome. You are awesome. You are awesome. Oh, King of Kings, King of Kings, you deserve our praise. That is why we've gathered here. We give it to you, O oh Lord God Almighty. Let your kingdom continue to be established in our midst. We are ready, Lord. We are ready. We are ready, Father. Lord, we are ready. The word that will shine unto us like a light. The word with which you created. The word that you did nothing without. Let your word come according to your will, Lord. Feed our hearts, Lord. Spirit of the living God, put over our hearts tonight. Have your way, O oh Lord, and let all praise be ascribed unto you. You are our God. 
and we continue to depend on you. Reign, O oh Lord, reign. Spirit of God, reign, O oh Lord, reign. Continue to brood over us, Lord, and do it according to your will. For we shall have cause to give you the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Oh, amen. Praise the Lord. Please resume your seat. To be frank, as I sit back and I look at what God has done, people of God, we have a lot to give to God and we have a lot to tell. We have a lot to tell. If I continue to sit by the TV and I look at what is going on, when we look at our lives, even at all, where we used to be and where God has brought us, there is nothing that we can give to this our God. <laughs> where I am coming from, I can tell a little bit of my house, yes. My house is filled, like Edda Sylvester said, my house is filled with gods, 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 smaller gods. Several kinds. Several kinds. I can count of fetish priests not at less than seven in my father's house. Not less than seven. Within the confines of my father's house, the house in which we used to live, my father was giving birth to. That one, seven fetish priests. The other ones that are at the extended places, not counted. But when I look at what God has done, a night like this, I would have been there and I would have been so dirty with all the other things on me and I would do nothing than to bow and to give glory to that God who cannot hear. That God I remember sometimes because they kill animals and put them there. Sometimes they have to put them under the sun to dry them, to get them, I mean, and enjoy the sunlight a little bit. And if they bring them there and they don't take them back and it is raining, they will be there and the rain will beat them. And they will be there. By the time you realize, Gary will be wet. <laughs> he couldn't rise up to go back to the room by himself. And I tell you, when they come and they are worshipping these gods, <laughs> you marvel. But we serve a living God. We serve a living God. The God who speaks. The God who knows the end from the beginning. Before something happens, this God knows it. So, like the worshiper said, the one who led us in worship said that before Corona will come, our God knew it. And by his own wisdom, he had positioned men so that even if Corona comes, you will be saved. If by any means you will die, God's wisdom means that Corona will come and you will die through Corona. It is not that Corona has killed you, but you've died through Corona because Corona cannot kill you. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Corona cannot kill you. It is only God who calls. Praise God. So our goal is so good. So if we have come to stand before him at this time, I look back and I imagine what will be going on and where I stand here in my suits and not just anybody, a minister of God. This is grace. This is true grace. I remember one time I went to their place. There was a funeral when I went there. And my father's brother, the wife, died. And then we went to the funeral. That time, I remember when the funeral was going on, the moment I stepped in the town, I wouldn't say the city. It was it's a, it's a dirty village. Because they are filled with gods. So when I stepped in there, I remember the, 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 the priest there started shaking because 
In G, they will say, say, Akom Akam. The ghost has come on him. Uh -huh. He's been invoked by the spirits. And he started shaking and shaking and shaking. And then they started coming to where I was. They were coming, they were coming. And then the second time I saw the other lady also started shaking. And the two of them started coming. I didn't know. So I was on my way, I just had the call. That time I was in Ghana alone, my wife was here. So I was doing this dance marriage. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. So I had a sweet call. A lovely call. When I went out, I was going to listen to the call. Then I saw them coming. I just want to say this to tell you that you have something in you. You may not follow it. So they were coming to the funeral. And I had the call. And I was just walking around with my hands in my pocket. And I was just walking around. When they started coming, they saw me. Then they stood. Then I saw the but the man, the, I mean the priest, the man, there are two who are coming, the woman and then the man. I saw the man pointing to my place like this. And then I just looked at him and I just bowed my hand. I was there going, I, I went, I went on with my call. Now, this man, they could not come as long as I stood. As long as I stood by in the, within the middle of the road, they could not come. Hmm. Why didn't they come to pass? By me, they could. I saw, I saw him continue doing this, and I also said, I will finish my call before I leave. Now, after that, to make things short, I went to sit down and I started praying in tongues, singing and worshiping God. Not because of them, but we were having a program. We're having 21 days program. So I was always in the spirit praying and singing and worshiping. So as I sat in the funeral, that was what I was doing because I was fasting. Now, this man came there. They couldn't come at where I was sitting in the front. They went to stand, maybe at, 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 the, at, the, at the wayside. They couldn't come there. Now, all of a sudden, I heard them saying, whoever has put his feet down, whoever is trying to resist us from doing what we are doing, that person should lift up his, hand, his leg. No, I didn't mercy from me. Only the nine, only the nine. Now, now say, you're doing mercy for only the nine. And I was, oh, something is working. I realized that whoever is trying to resist us from doing what we want to do, the priest says that that person should give way that we can do it. Then I realized that something is working. I just want to tell you, they could not do what they wanted to do. As long as I stayed there, the man in chief will say that I come, not a cop. I think for at once. The spirit that have come on the man to do what he wanted to do, they had to run away. I didn't do anything. I just want to tell you that we serve a living God. We have a God. And that God is before whom we are this morning or to this night. This God has a message for us. 2020 has come. And it is about ending. We can see that many things have happened. Good and bad. We can see that regardless of the many good things that 2020 presented, it came with misfortune. It came with a lot of bad stories. Now we see that the people that's Israel. They went through, or God picked them as a nation, and God delivered them from the hand of the Egyptians. And God led them through a wilderness, the Sinai wilderness, and God did so many great things with them. God fed them with manna, and they received water from the rock. When it got so hard, God gave them water. And what I like is that God's presence was always with them. God led them through the pillar of cloud. In the morning or in daytime. And then in the evening, <coughs> he will lead them with the pillar of fire. To be like a light unto them. 
And all these tell us us or give us a story. It is not just a history, but it is a voice of God unto us in this our dispensation. It is telling us that that same God who led the Israelites through the wilderness, that God, mighty God, is still ready to lead us from 2020 to 2021. Oh, hallelujah. And that God will lead us through 2021 into 2022 and the years beyond. Now, there is no doubt that men are filled with uncertainties. As we get ready to move into 2021, there are so many questions that have filled the minds of men. Man is anxious as to what the year will be. How is 2021 going to be looking at what has happened in 2020? There are so many things that goes into our mind. But when we look at all this, then the message to you tonight is that do not be afraid. Oh, praise God. Do not be afraid. There are so many issues that is going on in your mind. When you look at what happened in 2020, you keep on asking yourself what is going to be in 2021. But there is a God that has sent me to tell you that do not be afraid. Hallelujah. Be at peace and fret not. For you are not alone. With you throughout the life is the mighty one of Israel. The God who knows the end from the beginning. And I want to talk to you on the topic I am with you always. I am with you always. So when we look at all these things that have gone on, all these things that have happened, with these uncertainties and anxiety, there is a God that is telling you, fret not, be at peace, for I am with you. Hallelujah. I want to focus on that we should be able to know this God who is telling us that I am with you. And we will be able to trust in his ability to carry us through successfully through his divine provision, guidance, and protection. And then be able to position ourselves. And I want to add prophetically to be able to walk in his way. That is the message. You want to read Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. And I take it quickly from the New King James Version. Joshua 1 verse 9. Have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Emphasis. The Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And we want to read the same Joshua chapter 3. Joshua chapter 3, verse 4. Joshua 3, 4. And it says that, if I should read from verse 3, it says that, and they commanded the people, saying, when you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord, your God, bearing it, then you shall set out for your place, from your place, go after it. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, about 2,000 cubits to measure. Do not come near it, that you may know the way by which you must go. Verse 4 says that, for you have not passed this way before. Be of good courage, for I am with you wherever you go. And do not come near it. Stay afar a little bit so you can see your way. For you have not passed this way before. Nobody has known or have ever seen how 2021 is. Nobody knows what 2021 can present. Nobody knows the nitty gritties of 2021. And for that matter, man is anxious and uncertain. We see that Joshua has been appointed in place of Moses who had died to lead the Israelites 
unto the promised land. To make things short, Bible says that God told Moses that be strong and of good courage. God was trying to tell him that, Joshua, I know you are a man. When you visited this promised land, you came to tell us that God can give us that land. I know that you have faith. But then I want you to be strong. To be strong here means that hold on unto the word that I have told you. Meditate on that word and walk with that word. Move and let that word be your guide. Do everything with that word. So he stood up, be strong and courageous. Why? So that I will be with you. For the word is God. As you walk with the word, you walk with God. And so God was assuring Joshua that I will be with you wherever you go. go. Now, as they continued in Joshua chapter 3, Israel had gotten to Jordan. They had been moved from Egypt and the first sign that God did before them on the wilderness of Sinai, the first thing was that God made them cross the Red Sea. God could have taken them through a shorter distance, but he took them through the way on the desert. Why? Because God thought that if they should go on that path, they might have go and meet their enemies and they may want to go back. God, in his wisdom, moves us through situations. He moves us through issues. It is not to kill and to destroy us. But in his wisdom, he knows that through that, we will come out better. Hallelujah. So God, God took them through the desert. And as they went, they went to meet the Red Sea. Now they camped at the Red Sea. Thinking of how to cross the Red Sea. They were not just sitting down there. Pharaoh, who had released them to go and to worship their God, had come to his senses and he was following them to bring them back. Now, when Israelites look in front, they see the Red Sea. And when they look back, they see the Egyptians coming back. What am I to do? What are we supposed to do? So they cried unto their God. And as they cried, God told Moses, that Moses, why are you crying unto me? Why are you crying unto me? God wants us to show faith in the midst of challenges and hard situations. God has released us from Egypt. And he is taking us to the promised land. He will not cause us to die on the way. Oh, hallelujah. God's hand is with you. So as he moves you through 2021, remember that he is with you. And his faithfulness will be able to carry you through. Don't look at circumstances and the challenges. Yes, they will still come. The fact that God has delivered you doesn't mean that you'll be walking freely. They will always follow you. But remember, God is with you wherever you go. So they looked and then God told Moses that stretch forth the rock. And he stretched forth and we all know what baffles me. I don't know what kind of signs that made the waters stand aside by side. The Bible says that they walked through it. Now, make ten, ten so they had gone through and that they have come to Jericho, I mean Jordan, which was between the wilderness and then the promised land. A very few steps and they will get to the promised land. And there was Jordan. Now they started asking themselves, how can we cross this? Because God had told them to wait there. Wait at the Jordan, at the bank of that Jordan. Why did God tell them to wait? Why has God allowed situations to go on in our lives? God always wants to prove his glory. Praise the Lord. So, when we read verse 3 to 4, the Bible says that the officers, they went around the camp trying to think about how to go through or how to cross this. When they look ahead, they see the promised land there. And they can reminisce of the good things that God had told them. God had told them and given a picture of the promised land. So they could imagine in their mind. 
But now when they look, there is before them the Jordan. How are we going to cross the Jordan? Tonight, you might be asking yourself, looking at the promises that God has said unto your life, but you see a Jordan, and your question is, how can this be? And I've come to tell you that it is not by might, not by power, not by strength, but the zeal of the Lord, that God who is with you will carry you through. So as they went, as they stayed there, then God provided the way. God told them that we are going to cross this Jordan. Now, how we're going to cross this is that when you see that the priests of God are carrying the ark and they are going, move out from wherever you are and come to follow them. When you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, being carried by the Levitical priest, that you shall follow them, that you may know the way you should go. For this way you have not traveled it before. We are making a step to the unknown. We are making a journey to the unknown. We are going to the land where we don't know what is there. But there is a God who knows the end from the beginning. There is a God who knows what is coming ahead. And that God is telling you that he will lead you through. Don't you see the Jordan? Don't you see the challenges? But God himself will carry you through. Hallelujah. So just look at God. He is with you. Now he said that the covenant or the ark represents God's divine presence. The ark is God's divine presence. So God will stand that when you see me moving, then follow me. People of God, this time we don't use the ark. The ark was God's presence. But in our days, we don't use a symbolic ark. But we have a God in us. God himself can come to dwell in us. That is Emmanuel. The presence of God we carry along with us. So we always need to make sure that we listen to God's presence in the inner man. So as I speak, and as you cast your mind, you see a lot of things going on. But the issue is that, the question is, how can it be? But I've come to tell you that the presence of God is with you. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to run through so we can make time to pray. When you look at the ark, there were three things that were in the ark. Three things. Now, the ark contained the rod. A rod. And that rod was the rod of Aaron. Now, the Bible tells us that this rod of Aaron, it got to a time that some people were talking against Aaron's priesthood. And God demonstrated something unto them. Moses called for several rods of the families. And at the night, they went and they saw that Aaron's rod had budded. It had blossomed. And that it has filled with fruits of almond. What are we trying to say? God's presence will make us blossom. Hallelujah. God is in the ark. And the ark is in us. Within the ark is the rod. So within you is something that will cause you to blossom in 2021. Within you is something that will make you shine in 2021. Within you is that thing that will do the uncommon things in you. Hallelujah. Now, he says that the second thing in the ark is what we call the tablet. The tablet. In the tablet, when you, you, this one you can find in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 4. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 4, when you go home, make time and read. The second thing that was in the ark was the tablet. The tablet was containing the laws that God gave to Moses. Now, as you walk with God, there are rules and regulations. We have to walk with God by following his precepts. His directions and his instructions. We cannot walk with God without knowing his presence. So, as we walk with God, he makes his mind known unto us. The Bible says that who have known the mind of God, that he may instruct. For we have the mind of God. 
So the tablet shows unto us the will and the mind of God. So as we go through 2021, it doesn't matter what we may be going through. It doesn't matter what our eyes may be seeing. The mind of God will be leading us through. We will not fret because we have the mind of God. The third, third term in the tablet is the manner. Somebody say the manner. The manner. The bread. Hallelujah. So we see that God fed the Israelites with manna. When they went into the wilderness, God gave them manna. So God is telling us that as you see the act of God moving, follow it. And you can cross the Jordan. In our time, it is not the act again, like I said. Now, God's presence is here to give us our provision. He is not just with us alone. And he's not just with us to instruct us. And he's not just with us to make us blossom. But he is there to provide our needs. I pray that as you walk through 2021, you will never lack. Because the one who holds all things in his hands is with you. You are not alone. Praise God. Now, the ark is leading the way. And these things that God told them, that as the ark lead the way, make sure that you lead wherever you are. Reposition. When you see the ark, don't keep standing. When you see the ark, don't stay unconcerned. When you see the act moving, you need to make a move. Spiritual reposition. Many a times we make our own decisions. And many a times we face the challenges of the world by ourselves. Remember, the way that is ahead, you have not traveled it before. Why don't you commit it to the hands of the one who knows the way? Why do you want to rush and outwit God? What is ahead of you demands consultation. It demands that you seek the face of God. So constant dependence of God and his leadings and his patiently waiting for his directions will carry us through. Know that God does not do things the same. So I remember that God led the Israelites to conquer Jericho through a shout and a sound of songs. So when they finished with Jericho and they had went and to go and besiege Ai, the Bible says that when they went, they thought that Ai was just a small city so they could just overcome Ai. But there was something hidden. If they had consulted God, God would have revealed unto them. But they thought that the God who did it yesterday would do it the same thing today. I have come to tell you our God does not work that way. That is why you have to avail yourself unto him. As we go through 2021, do not be wise on your own eyes. The things that we see in the world is not just as we see it. Everything that happens on the physical has already happened in the spirit. So I pray that the eyes of your spirit will be open. And that one will come when you depend on the God who is with you. So that he will direct you as to how to tackle every situation. I pray that you will not think that everything is the same. And you will try to put God somewhere and use your physical wisdom. Now, one thing that I ask myself is that why did Joshua, when they were trying to cross, he didn't use engineers to go and survey the waters. Engineers could have constructed a bridge. But was it just a construction of bridge? It was beyond that. That is why God made them be led by the Leviticus, the, the, the Levites. Something spiritual cannot be tackled with the physical. We need to remain spiritual. We need to reposition our spiritual body. We need to open our spiritual understanding as we go through 2021. It is only through that that we will walk majestically even in the midst of the trials because our goal knows the end from the beginning. Our God has a reason for which he has told us into that. As I bring the message to an end because of time so we can pray, I want to make sure, give you three things. As we journey with God, 
Know the God whom you are journeying with. I don't think you can walk with somebody that you don't know. I know my wife. She knows me. There is relationship. To be able to walk with God who is with you, to be able to know that he is with you, you must develop a relationship. Praise the Lord. Know that your God is omnipotent. He has power to do what he says he will do. So when the God says that he will bless you, he doesn't consult anyone. He will bless you according to his word. He has power to do what he says he will do. And Philippians tells me that it is God who works in us, both to will and to do, for his pleasure. So God desires that you prosper. God desires that it goes well with you. And I pray that 2021 will go well with us. Know that God is omnipresent. He is everywhere. So even if you walk through the waters, he is with you. But you walk through the shadow of death, you will fear no one. Because God is with you. Know that God is omniscient. He knows everything. He knows what you are going through. He knows what you will be going through in 2021. Even if it becomes very hard, know that God is with you. He knew it before it came. And he had orchestrated it. And he had a plan for you. He will see you through. Make conscious effort as you draw closer to God. Draw closer to God and make relationship. Study the way. Make time for church services. Make time for interaction with God. Pray. Seek his face. Don't just walk blindly on earth. Now, a skill, a skill and a fear and trust in the Lord. Put away fear. Don't fear. When God puts something in your mind to do, don't look at your strength that who is going to do it. It is God who is going to do it through you. So God's direction, the many openings, the revelations that God will give to you, don't look at the situation, just make a step and go. The Bible says that the people, the priests, God told them that, step into the waters. Now the waters was filled to the bank. But then, as they carried the ark, they stepped into the waters and the water could not carry them away. When the Red Sea was filled and the Egyptians were coming, God told the people, Moses, tell your people to go forward. People of God, we need to move forward in the midst of circumstances and crisis. Once we are being led by God, don't look at the challenge. Once you are being led by God, if you hear and clearly that it is God who is leading you, just take a step of faith. We need to walk with faith in the year 2021. For God will do what he says he will do. Hallelujah. We need to change our perceptions. The way we think and the way we do things must change. How did you see God? What was your relationship with God? How did you follow the things of God? How did you think about yourself? Did you used to speak negatively about yourself? Media, as for me, as for me, no, it is not you, but it is God. Who is working through you to accomplish his glory? Hallelujah. Change your perception. Position yourself so that you can hear the voice of God. The voice. And be ready to obey whatever instructions that God gives unto you. As you change your perception, walk with a winning attitude that you can do whatever God tells you to do. For it is him who will it and to do it. And do away with the old ways, the old things. If you have some friends that did not help you, do away with them. If you have some ways of doing some things that did not help you in 2021, in 2020, in 2021, because God is with you and he is leading you through, change your perception. Change those things. Live away. Abraham had to separate from Lot before he could see the face of God. Sometimes separation comes. Where are you standing? You need to position yourself prophetically so that you can hear of God and you can walk with God. People of God, God is with us. We should not be afraid. 
whatever will happen in 2021, the challenges that they will come with, I'm come to tell you, I didn't come to tell you that it's going to be easy. No. But in the midst of it all, our God is with us. God will do what he says he will do. It doesn't matter what will come. And I pray that the glory of the Lord will be seen in us. God will do what he says he will do. For his divine presence will go with us. He will protect us. And he will provide unto us everything that we need. And he will direct us when it seems so tough. When the world becomes gloom and dark, he will shine like the pillar of light. And when it becomes tough, he will carry us and protect us. What we need, he will provide unto us. Church of God, for I received of the Lord that for which I have delivered. Shall we please be on our feet? Just lift up your voice and give it to the Lord. Lift up your voice and give it to the Lord. Thank the Lord for his divine presence. Thank God for his divine presence. Our Lord is with us. Oh, thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. I bless you for your word of assurance, Lord. I give you all the glory for how far you've done. I remember what you have done in my life. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your faithfulness. You remain faithful. You remain faithful. You remain faithful. You remain faithful. Oh, every day, every hour, you are faithful. You are faithful. You are faithful. You are faithful. Oh, that we see, that's the fact that you are faithful. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Lift up your voice and give it to the Lord. Lift up your voice and give it to the Lord. Lift up your voice and give it to the Lord. Our God is good. Our God is good. Our God is good. Our God is good. Yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Oh, yes, you are the Lord.
Lift up your voice and pray that you can grow closer to God. That you draw closer to God. Draw me close, draw me close, draw me close, draw me close. Lift up your hands. 
I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Behold, all those who were incensed against you shall be ashamed and disgraced. They shall be as nothing. And those who strive with you shall perish. Listen. You shall seek them and not find them. Those who contended with you, those who war against you, shall be as nothing, as a non-existent thing. For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand. Oh, hallelujah. God will hold your right hand. David said, he teaches my hand for war. God will hold your hand. And he will teach your hand for war. Hallelujah. <laughs> Saying to you, fear not, I will help you. In your weakness, God will help you. Fear not, you well Jacob, you men of Israel. I will help you, says the Lord. And your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, listen, I will make you into a new threshing sledge. With sharp teeth. This time, not babies with sharp teeth. But threshing sledge with a sharp teeth. Able to cut anything. It doesn't matter what was done before you. That threshing floor will be so sharp. I will be able to deal with anything. Oh, hallelujah. You shall thresh the mountains. And beat them small. And make the hills like calf, chaff. You shall winnow them. The wind will carry them away. As you cut them, then the power of God will sway them away. So they cannot stand you again. And the whirlwind shall scatter them. You shall rejoice in the Lord and glory in the Holy One of Israel. The poor and needy seek water, but there is none. Their tongue failed for test. I, the Lord, will hear them. When you cry in 2021, God will hearken to your prayer. And I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. Now listen. I will open rivers in desolate heights. Dry grounds. And fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water. Kabo Sate. Bri Antobro Zikaba. And the dry land springs of water. Now listen, I will plant in the wilderness the cedar and the acacia tree, the mitre and the oil tree. I will set in the desert the cypress tree and the pine and the box tree together. That they may see and know and consider and understand together. Oh, hallelujah. That the hand of the Lord has done this. And the Holy One of Israel has created it. The Lord bless and keep you. Amen. God bless you, everyone. Hallelujah. We will be taking the announcement, but before then, we just want to sing the song. Our faith, our call, our prayer, our better year. Amen. Can the choir lead us to sing it before we take our announcement? Amen. Make sure you dance, but observe the distance. Amen. I fear I call a pro I bet to yes to be I told you me I do me I fear I call a pro I bet to yes to be Ma, 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 ma,
Come for the benediction before you go. Come for the benediction.
the new year. Amen. Amen. Um, so a few announcements, then we'll continue dancing. Amen. Um, from the women's ministry, we are into the new year. So um, if you don't come for the women's ministry, uh, don't pray us. They want you to start very well. <laughs> Hallelujah. So on um, January 6, 2021, which is, um, I think, a Wednesday, um, the dawn prayers will come on at 5 a.m. It's for the entire district. So if you're a woman, please, uh, you are entreated to join and pray for yourself and your family. Amen. And also, um, the end of year district presbytery meeting will be held this Saturday at 10 a.m. It's going to be on Zoom. 10 a.m. It's going to be on Zoom. All local secretaries and financial secretaries who are not elders, deacons or deaconesses are also part of the meeting. So if you're not an officer, you are still part of the meeting if you're a financial secretary or a local secretary. So please join the meeting Saturday, 10 a.m. And this Sunday will be the first communion service of the year. Hallelujah. Oh, you don't want to sit home. Amen. Communion. Amen. Amen. Start off the year right. And just don't hide behind Zoom. And you don't receive the blessings of God. Amen. Let us come and receive the blessings of the, of the Lord in person. God bless you all. I'll hand over back to Pastor. Amen. So Sunday, we are all meeting at church. Um, don't try to do any form of communion. If you are not able to go to church, don't do any communion in your house. It is done at the church. And then um, there is a way, it's not something that we have to take for granted. We don't want to keep the sanctity of it. So don't try to do anything like communion, don't take water. If you want to do it, and if you are going in person, make sure you join the in person, and then take the communion. Don't, I will encourage you, don't skip the first communion on the first Sunday of the year. Come and let us all worship together, and it will be a blessing. And we want to remind you that we will be taking our offering that is tight. Come with your tithes and your offering. And it looks like we have forgotten something we, God used to bless us with. The missions offering. If you have stopped paying your missions offering, remember there is somebody in the mission field suffering because you have refused to take care of the person. And because you take not taking care of that person, God will also block that blessing that is supposed to come unto you through that way. So please, let's Enter 2021 with a new perception, a new move. That you're going to do things anew. You will not let the corona dictate unto us our sort of blessing. So come with your tithes and come with your missions offering. As we do regularly. And God will surely bless you. Amen. Amen. Shall we please be on our feet? Because we don't have to stay here for a long time. We would have been dancing. And we are not in normal times. So let's go and continue with in the hand. As we go, don't, please, let's try and avoid many gatherings. Let's try and avoid, um, make sure that we go with a protocol. Wear your mask everywhere you go and then don't take any risk. Because Corona is still real. But one thing we know that God will continue to keep us. As we also do what we are supposed to do. Amen. Shall we please? There shall be showers of blessings. This is the promise of God. Oh, oh there shall be seasons with friends.
you from heaven. May the showers from the throne room of God fill your hearts. May the divine presence of God continue to rest and abide with you. May that same divine presence provide unto you. May that same divine presence protect you. And may that same divine presence do all that pleases the Lord unto you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May God lift up his countenance upon you. May the Lord make every crooked path straight before you. May mountains become level before you. And where mountains continue to stand, may God give you the strength to overcome. May God empower you and give you grace to rise and overcome. May God give you overtaking anointing that even as you run, you will overtake they that are ahead of you. The Lord bless and keep you. May God continue to confirm his word towards you. May every heart desire that you put before God, may God answer you. May God continue to lead you and take you through and give you strength to complete the year 2021. God richly bless you. God make you grace. God make all grace abound unto you. May you never lack any good thing. May you lend unto others. May they that is weak become strong. May they that are poor continue to walk in greatness and riches. And my God will supply all your needs according to his glorious riches. That is in Christ my Lord Jesus Christ. Go and continue to show forth the glory of God as a child of God. Go in victory. Amen. God richly bless you. God bless you for coming. We are meeting on Sunday. In Presbytery, we are meeting on Saturday at 10 o'clock through Zoom. Don't forget.